what's going on everybody it is your boy T spilling now if you guys are watching this this only means one thing and guess what on some real shit I didn't drop my phone I'm so damn excited yes <clears throat> this is this truly is love and hip-hop Atlanta I'm sorry Hollywood <laughs> season 2 episode 12 this is the finale yes I got my hands on it early up in this bitch but if you guys uh, want to watch this before it actually airs, you guys can go to my Facebook fan page, okay? Go to my Facebook fan page. It will be down in the link below. And you guys can go ahead and check that motherfucker out. All right. <clears throat> if you want to watch it early. Um, like I said, if you guys want to know, it is uh, facebook.com slash spilling all the tea together. It'll take you there. You guys will find the link if you guys want to watch it. All right. I may or may not do a live Periscope immediately following. You guys let me know if I should. I may or I may not. If I do the live Periscope, then either Black Ink Crew Chicago will either not happen tonight or it may come after. I don't know. But let's get into this shit. So we have Monice and Rich. Um, She regrets confessing her um her love for Fizz. She regrets it. And, you know, Moniz is, you know, pushing for Rich to go ring shopping. And, you know, we find out that he's been joking about ring shopping. And I will be right back. I forgot I got some damn fish in the motherfucking oven. And the bitches went, oh, I'll be right back. All right. I'm back. Uh, if, in case y'all are wondering, what the fuck am I eating tonight? I'm actually just doing some simple baked tilapia with uh, some uh, shells and cheese. That's that's pretty much my dinner tonight. I'm keeping this shit real fucking simple. But I did come back with a drink on that ass. But what I was saying is, um, <clears throat> we even uh, see that Rich was even saying that he had been joking with her about the whole ring thing. Which is one where it's like, it's certain shit you don't joke about. And it's almost like you're playing with the girl feelings, but... I think we all know what the end result was. Like, the two end results that we saw play out on social media, we see play out on this fucking episode. Moving on. <clears throat> Miles, he meets with his boys to pretty much talk about what's been uh, hot in the street, and it's been uh, him and his flaming ass. Uh, again, nothing but jokes over here. I don't need nobody getting any damn panties on the motherfucking bunch of shit. But um, he talks to his boys, and they pretty much was cool with it. She's just like, hey, man, I mean, shit, you could have been told us. you should. We should have been the first ones to know. Don't necessarily agree with them being the first ones to know. But, you know, they was cool with it. It was like, shit, we going to love you regardless. We ain't going to no motherfucking double dates with your ass, but we good. So, you know, that's the end of that moving. Oh, but that's not the last time we're going to talk about Miles, you guys. Just saying. So, Ray gets his new house. He invites Princess over. And, you know, he's uh, pretty much saying that he will only take this house if she is down to move in with him now princess is kind of upset because she's like i wanted us to move slow move on Francis old things we've been together for three years okay and her thing is well i'll take the house under one condition <laughs> you put that bitch in my name and he agrees now i'm gonna say i'm gonna say two things she's smart but she dumb okay she's smart because yeah that bitch is in her name but here's the thing she, if she's dumb because she may be dumb Unless she has the funds for this house. Mm. And my thing is, if it's in your name, it's either you can let him pay for it and you can deal with him throwing that shit in your face or you can pay for that shit yourself. So, again, it's in her fucking name. So he can't kick her out, but he can hold a lot of shit <clears throat> over her head. But y'all let me know your opinion about her accepting the house with the clause that it's in her name. But like I said, I mean, it's one of those things where it's a good thing, but it's a bad thing. I can see so much bad that can come with that. So now we got Rich. He is at a fashion show, and he's also looking at prospects, you know, for somebody to be the face of his alcohol. He is still pushing the alcohol, and I am not mad at him for that. I'm not mad. Well, Nikki sees him. She's at the same fashion show. So she decides to go and talk to Rich because in her mind, she feels that it is wrong for Monice to say that she to be loving on one individual, but confessing her love to a completely other fucking person. Now, my thing is this, <clears throat> if that's your fucking reasoning, bitch, you way the fuck out of line. Way the fuck 
out of line. Let me say that, number one. Now, if her whole thing is because this bitch decided she was going to come and turn up and fuck up my event where you know double stuff, motherfucker, banana cream, pudding pie, bitch, then I would have gave her a motherfucking slide. Okay, y'all, I'll be right back. I got to take this phone call. It seems, it seems like there is so much taking me away from this video, but nothing but God will stop me from doing this video. All right, but I'm back. So, um... <clears throat> But let me do let me let me do say God is good. Okay, okay. I just got some news, but I already got the news before. But confirmation on the news, God is good. Okay, get me out of a bind tomorrow. Praise him. But um my whole thing is I didn't really like that. And she pretty much drops the bomb and pretty much tells um Rich what um <clears throat> Fizz told her. Even though certain parts were a little bit inflated, whatnot. My whole thing is like, that ain't your motherfucking place to him be telling somebody like, <clears throat> this is what this is. You feel what I'm saying? But again, m m me knowing Moniz, my little boot thing, okay? She my boot thing, but she don't know it. But you know, she gonna come on through. Y'all already know how it is. Y'all already know how the fuck she is. So y'all ain't got to worry. Cannot wait. All right, so, and, and don't mind me. Y'all know I, I multitask over here. So I'm talking to y'all doing some shit over here. It is what it is. Okay, so April pretty much feels overshadowed and everything, and that's pretty much it. Move the fuck on, because again, her ass was born, she won shit. But between her and Plastique, they were the fucking Carly Reds together of this particular show. April really didn't have much going. Like I said in my last video, I'm mad at her because she should be using every fucking opportunity last season, this singing season, just to be singing. Like, I'm very upset about that. So, <clears throat> Miles uh, is with his mom, and he pretty much says that she found out um, from someone else instead of him. But again, like I said, we all know this shit was reenacted. Um, he's crying, saying that he never meant to disappoint this and that. I'm sitting here like, bruh, if you don't man the fuck up. I mean, I'm sitting here just like, whew, I'm tired. And I'm glad I've been paying attention to the blogs, because had I been paying attention to the blogs, I probably would be skipping over his shit right now. Um, what the fuck else? Um, mm hmm. And you know, he even saying that not all of his family is completely okay with him and his life. But my question is this who the fuck cares? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like people be so tied up into what the fuck people think. <laughs> like maybe it's because I'm off on my own. I'm not finna sing Patty, but on my own. Maybe it's because I'm off on my own doing my own fucking thing that I don't well actually I really never really gave a fuck to be completely honest. Enough about me. Back to this motherfucker right here. And you know his mom cool with everything so now Miles come Milan comes over to meet the parents and shit and you know they asking you know about everything. He's like well I, if I'm not mistaken I, I believe he said my family knows about him but they have not met him. And now the mom getting mad and shit. And he's like, well, my family's, you know, in Chicago. Now, to an extent, I'm claiming fucking Milan. Okay, but he gonna have to let some of that bitch ass this go for me to sit here and fucking fully accept his ass. I'm the west side. Now, the south side is y'all can sit here and take motherfucking Milan, okay? But he gonna have to get some of that bitch ass that's about him if he's gonna sit here and try to claim Chicago. I'm just saying. What the fuck else, y'all? Um, uh -huh. mm-hmm. And, you know, my mom, you know, she comes at him about his fucking pictures and shit. You know, telling him that he needs to have morals. Again, this shit is put on, but on, at the same exact motherfucking time, I respect the fuck out of Milan. Because he politely said what he needed to say sternly. Yarell would have lost his ever motherfucking mind. You not finna sit here and tell me as a grown motherfucking man what the fuck I need to be fucking doing. And telling me about my motherfucking morals. Because I get wrong fucking tea if I had a motherfucking mirror mirror on the wall showing the past of this bitch. I swear for Lord, and I'm not calling his mama a bitch, but I'm just saying show me her past. I guarantee fucking tell you, your shit ain't that motherfucking squeaky clean either. The only difference between now and then is shit, we got intranet, cell phones, and all the other shit. Y'all didn't have that shit back in the motherfucking dinosaur age, so I'm gonna have to ask her to sit the fuck Y'all real, why are you getting so damn mad right now? I'm gonna sit my drink. I'm sorry. I don't like disrespect, though. I really don't. And why am I getting mad over some shit that I know is scripted? Oh my gosh, what the fuck is wrong with me? All right. So, you know, Milan, you know, even said that his mother had disowned him, you know, when he revealed that he was gay and, you know, just the whole shit that was going on with them. Next thing I know, I didn't feel like going back to uh, re 
analyze what was said, but his sister gets bugged talking about some we ride for him, da da da. This how the fuck this shit go, da da da. But so because we ride for him, then we gonna ride for you. And I'm just like, so are you trying to either get your own show or spin up with your brother? Like, what is the extra? Why are you turning up? They hug all the shit out. They want a big happy family. I'm moving the fuck on. <clears throat> I'm, I, I got one more time to talk about Milan after this next start, and then I'm just done. So, Monice and Rich, this shit right here hurt my heart, y'all. It did, it did, it did. But I'm going to talk about some shit, though. So, she is in the studio getting it, I, and she was kind of giving me, like, a nice little pop feel. So, I'm sitting here trying to figure out, like, is she going to go pop on her ass when she finally released some motherfucking music? I wonder. I don't know. Now, Monice uh, sits down with Rich. She brings up the fact that she is marriage material. And this is the thing that kind of <clears throat> kind of pushed uh, Rich a little bit. So Rich says that, you know, he came here and he changed for her. He's been a changing man. And, you know, he feels that because she is in love with Fizz, that he needs to go back to being the original him. Because for her, he began to change. Number one. Okay. If you gonna change, you change for self. You don't change <clears throat> for another motherfucker. Okay, I'm just saying in general, what am I saying? Ain't no dick and no pussy. That motherfucking good to sit here and you know change. I mean, maybe the mouth is. I don't know. No gag reflex, tongue action. I don't fucking know. But what I'm saying is, ain't shit that damn good that you need to sit here and change everything about your motherfucking self to fit another motherfucking person. I'm sorry, no. And then Rich straight flips, goes in, not giving her an opportunity to talk. Now, he's talking to her the same way he did Erica Mena. Now, here's the thing. I can tell that either A, he never loved. I don't think he ever really loved her. And this is why I feel that way, which we all know he probably really didn't. But <clears throat> he knows how fragile she is. So the fact that he went in the way that he fucking did. God, leave my shit going off. I wasn't feeling that and it wasn't cool so it's almost just like apparently you didn't love her because the way you smooth just went the fuck in on her that ain't love that ain't love and on some real shit and then he walks off but here's one thing that I will say what I believe what y'all real believes this motherfucker right here what I believe is this I truly believe that he was ready to break it off with her any fucking way. He was just looking for the right opportunity or the right something to, you know, give him reason to flip the fuck out. But y'all watch the shit and y'all let me know. Better y'all watch the whole damn season. Y'all let me know. Do y'all feel that I'm right? Because I could be wrong. I'm wrong about a lot of shit. All right, now Milana's in the studio. And uh, he talks to his manager, you know, he uh, talks about him coming out, how the first person he came out to was his younger brother. I think he was like 13, 14, his younger brother was like 9. And his younger brother wanted him to, you know, like, play with me, this and third. Why don't you want to play with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> he pretty much tells his younger brother, well, I'm different, I'm gay. His brother's like, I don't care, fucking play with me. And it's one of those things where it's just like, and realizing... <clears throat> Children are innocent. Like I said, children don't see color. They don't see all these different societal norms and these dividing factors that we as fucking adults see. Or even fucking teens see. You know, kids just like, it is what it is. It's life. It's all this other shit that is fucking breeded into them. Think about that. <clears throat> but, you know, he began to live his truth. And when his brother died, I don't know how many years, but I want to say several years after it is it was at that point that um <clears throat> excuse me he went from you know kind of like living his truth to owning his truth and living it taking ownership of who the fuck he was and just saying you know what i'm gonna live my life the way that i want to motherfucking live my life and salute that guy oh in april she really wants to do her thing oh tells her she's in the like most important place I think what he was trying to tell her low key is like, <clears throat> look at me, look at what I'm doing. See how I'm going about doing shit and kind of learn from what the fuck I'm doing. I could be wrong, but at the same exact time, if you married to somebody that does music and you want to do music, you she should have been with her motherfucking book taking notes the whole damn time. And shit getting a little bit rough. He says, stop the buzz. 
and be and conveniently sell the motherfucking uh record studio to you know do the little damn thing with her. and again i feel that shit was staged but any fucking way they're at the studio she's happy she gets to do her fucking music still ain't hurt her ass thing but it is what it is all right y'all so i'm finna pause right quick because i need this the only thing i will rewatch is the next shit i'm about to talk about i'm gonna be right the fuck back because in me watching on the platform that i was watching it shit was kind of fuzzy I need to watch this shit one more again, so I'll come the fuck back and give y'all some real shit because I need to talk about my boo boo Momo going smooth the fuck off and yes, I'll be right so, back. So I'ma have to sip this right quick. So now we get Fizz as our video launch. Now Max produced a song <laughs> again. They just keeping everything within the uh, love and hip hop family. Um, and this is the last thing I want to talk about. And before I say that, you know how they do the whole everybody's little end story. They ain't say shit about Shonda and motherfucking Willie. But they're going to talk about motherfucking Brandy. And you know Sprint Mouth, but I digress. So Moniz shows up to, you know, confront, you know, uh, Tamar, you know, um, you know, mutated twin. <clears throat> and, you know. On these pretty much here, just like so. When you came to the video shoot, did you overhear the conversations that I had with my baby daddy? No, you did not. So, therefore, why did you find it necessary to go to my man and talk to him about some shit that you were not present for? Now, Nikki is trying to say that you know she ain't hating, she ain't throwing shade or whatnot, and don't be mad at me, be mad at your baby daddy for telling me. No, 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 no. Here's y'all real. No, no. Fizz sold you because he's wanted to talk to you. Fizz ain't here and tell you to go run your mouth like little catty messy bitches do. Okay, again, she wants to say and act like she a motherfucking queen. She ain't even a princess. She's a princess without a crown. Princess in training is what this motherfucker is. Now, mind you, Moniz, I, 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 I mean, I'm trying to help her find the crown shit. But I'm talking about Nikki. Plastique. As my sister Nika likes to call her. You know, it's it's like, why you being messy? My whole thing is, it's like what I said about Cynthia. If you're going to be messy, be messy. Okay, if you're going to be messy, be messy in your shit. Don't be messy and try to motherfucking backtrack. Don't sit here and say, oh, you need to be mad at your man. Bitch, why? I'm sorry, at your baby dad. Bitch, why? Bitch, where? Bitch, who? Bitch, when? Bitch, why? Is what I want to know. But anyway, you know... <clears throat> Monique, she's like, no, it was you. Now, mind you, the finger did get in the face and everything. But the motherfucker that be selling will take it like a motherfucker. It's like, don't put your hand in my, don't put your hand. My whole thing is this. I got it. Monique's probably should not have put the finger up. But if you not finna get bucked, then don't buck the fuck up. So for her to touch her hand, she's talking shit. Y'all got to watch that shit in slow motion because this is the only part that I went back to watch. Mother Moniz throat checked that ass. I saw like, oh, she throat checked her. Immediately, the little chihuahua that is Brandy comes in to fight. Nobody else. The little chihuahua. I forgot. We got three crazies. Moniz, Brandy, and fucking uh, Princess. I forgot about Brandy being there, the motherfucking crazy one. And here's the thing. Moniz was ready. Just like, come, like both of them are ready to fucking go at each other. That is a fight that I want to see, y'all. I want to see that fucking fight. I do. I know we're going to see Princess try to go from, you know, my boo Moniz. But I want to see Moniz and fucking Brandy go at it. That, I, I, would pay, I would pay pay-per-view money for that shit. Okay. <clears throat> and then... Moniz is being held back this at third, and now you got a nigga, but she just feel like, you know what, fuck it. I want to try to get bucked. So she walks up talking about, so come in. <laughs> Moniz look at her like, uh, why don't you come over here? You know what I'm saying? Like, Moniz's whole thing is just like, if you want to be big and bad, come to where I'm at. Because they holding me back. They not fucking holding you back. So then, you know, Fizz trying to tell her, no, calm down, calm down. Like, she is, Moniz is wrong. But he ain't saying shit, you know, to that Tupperware, motherfucking glad Tupperware looking ass bitch that he been sitting there, you know, fucking and shit. And then it is fucking, uh, you know, that bitch, Bobby Girl in the Bobby World, is sitting here throwing a drink. And the drink mostly hits fucking Fizz. <clears throat> but he's still mad at fucking Moniz. Why you mad at Moniz? She ain't throwing no drink on you, pimping. 
Uh, once that drink was thrown, what I say, she climbed over that motherfucking barrier so motherfucking quick and smooth. Shit, fear snatched her ass back. I was like, no, let her go. I wanted to see that shit so motherfucking bad, so motherfucking bad. But, uh, you know, they not on good terms, but for what it's worth, um, he's happy that uh, she is uh, stepping up more to be a uh, better fit mother. <clears throat> and I'm not finna sit here and talk about everybody's going away shit. But all I'm gonna say is, oh my gosh, y'all, Ray proposed to Princess. Has she not fucking let that shit slip? It actually would have been a surprise. No, it really wouldn't have been a surprise because, you know, she a dumb hoe. Pretty hoe, but a dumb hoe. But that is it. That is my review. I know if y'all watching that shit, it's fucking boring. Hopefully, I gave y'all some life for the bullshit that y'all about to watch. If y'all watch this first, then I hope y'all enjoy because it's probably not going to be as interesting as I made it. But again, if you guys want to see the video, because it's what? what? What time is it right now? I can't look at my damn DVI. It's what? 5 50 here so this video should be up hopefully within like the last 30 minutes unless you two try to slam my ass I got a separate video to talk about motherfucking Viacom because they straight flag one of my damn videos on that bitch shit Viacom copy ring because I don't want them to try to flag this because I said Viacom and you know and whatever so <clears throat> that's all I got if you guys want to watch the video if you have not already watched it go to my Facebook fan page please like that fan page alright so y'all know what's going on in the world with me and, uh, like I said, it's separate from my personal, um, <clears throat> Facebook, you know what I'm saying? That, like I said, that right there is for the tea spilling moniker, but it's facebook.com slash spilling all the tea together. And you guys should find the link there. So that's all I got. Hopefully you guys enjoy this early treat. If y'all want me to go ahead and talk about this on Periscope, let me know. I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet, but... I uh, expect my sister Lady Nika to hopefully come through with an early video on y'all asses because I shared it with her too. So please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I hope you guys enjoy this. I will see y'all next week for the reunion. Alright? Peace.